Did I ever tell you a story about how we met? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Oh my goodness. I mean, I knew of his existence in the world. Mm. And so, yeah, even my mom doesn't really know the full story. <laughs> So we started speaking on Instagram because it was someone I knew. Mm. Mm. Okay, no problem. We'd go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But I had friends zoned him. Mm. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> this guy is my friend. And so um, we're talking, talking, talking. And then Abuya. And I later then found out that he actually came back to see me. Mm. But when he came back, it was December, when he came back from East London to, to come to Venda. He was staying at a hotel. And I was like, oh, me, I was driving it. Why would he then be staying in a hotel? So I was like, uh, so he asked me to come and see him. But I was like, oh, no, he's busy he's with his friends and, and there's a lot going on. He's clearly not at home, so who busy? Mm. And then Adanga Chikepe, waterfront, his friend's boat. So I was waving. Waving, waving. He didn't see me. Mm. Martina, he was calling me on my phone. Mm. Phone, yanga, you said, office scene. And then um, we didn't speak of a church, but I mean, it's my friend. Mm. Then he sent me a message to say he's going back to Eastern Cape. You know, December is busy. Mm. So on Christmas, I video call him. Mm. We were happy, saying hi, hi, hi. Mm. How are you? Merry Christmas. And, and, and he said, <coughs> then... Achibuya and I said Mubone, he had given up or maybe this person is not interested. When I called on Christmas, he was like, actually, maybe there's a chance. <laughs> so we started talking, talking, talking. And then my mom and I were going on a Europe trip. Mm-hmm. So we went on our Europe trip in January. And then our first stop was Paris. When we got to Paris, I then had a, a glass of wine. Mm. And when I had a glass of wine, I, it didn't work out the way that I expected it to work out. <laughs> um, and so I went back. I was sharing a room with my mom. And I never share a room with my mom when I travel. Mm. But this time around, we shared a room. Mm. So I then went back to my mom's to our room and then Davandis Koto Chimbra Zabuti. So my mom was asking her, what happened? Uh, did you drink and blah blah blah. So I said yes. And then we slept and my mom was not happy at all. So Davandi Kutu then a plan I have to explain myself. I mean I'm an adult mm. at um um twenty nine. So I s I, I have to come up with a plan. I then Katu and I are friends. See? Mm. But at this point, I can say, this mm. person wants mm. more than just mm. friendship. Mm. But he's not s- exactly saying anything. Mm. So I then send him a text message. I say, yo, this and this is what happened last night. <laughs> and so, um, mm. so I am going to say to my mom, I'm very, very single. Mm. Very single at that time. Mm. Um, so I said to him, I'm going to say to my mom that my boyfriend allows me, when when I am with my boyfriend, when we go out uh, for date night, mm. we have a glass of wine each. Mm. So the alcohol in Paris is stronger than the alcohol in South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> and then he says, okay, no problem, you can say that. So, you know, like now I'm emotional. I'm apologizing. My boyfriend and I, when we go out for date night, we have a glass of wine. And um, the alcohol in Paris is stronger than the alcohol in South Africa. So my mom had always said to me, um, one day she does not want to get introduced to any guy. The person who I introduced her to, Utoba mm-hmm. um, so I'd never introduced her to anyone, never spoken to her about uh, a boyfriend, nothing of um, of those of that nature. Mm. So um, when I say that to my mom, my mom is like, "Who's the person?" I'm thinking, "I'm very single." <laughs> and then, okay, out of panic, I say, "Ufi katu," and then she says, "Katua guy." <laughs> Katuambodi. 
u bagaindara u dzira is is london mara me wa dzira unity so she starts asking me many questions and i can't answer them mm. too and then eventually she's like no call him i want to speak to him so i send him a text message i say my mom is going to call you uh he already knew the story you read or um when i go out with my boyfriend mm. so i'm sure he was like good shot <laughs> because i call him and my mom takes my phone and she walks out of the room mm-hmm. she comes back with a big smile mm. on her face mm. and i'm wondering what is going on mm. she did not ask me any question after that robert mm. chiba we went to paris switzerland um i can't oh and milan mm. then um a few days into our trip ngori i decided that i was going to stay in dubai on my own mm-hmm. she's like oh why didn't you tell me that the reason you wanted to stay in dubai was because your boyfriend was coming <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking my boyfriend is coming how mm. i mean after the conversation with my mom mm. i then decided oh, okay fine since i already said mm. i have a boyfriend and i can see ori he's he's been trying to you know persuade persuade me mm. maybe i must give him a chance mm. so he came to dubai we spent a few days in dubai and then we came back to sa when we came back to sa nenda via venda and he went back to east london mm. and a week after that it was his birthday mm-hmm. so i flew to east london mm. and when i got to east london he was introducing me to everyone as his wife <laughs> So he never introduced me ever as a girlfriend. So I'm thinking, okay, fine. We went to Dubai three weeks ago. See, and now I'm in East London three weeks later. And three weeks ago, he was with all of these people. And now they didn't know of me. Jiggy, jiggy, I'm a wife. Three weeks later, uh-uh, this person is playing games with me. We, I was there for the weekend, celebrated his birthday. Then that we are Venda. and then two weeks after that was valentines mm. and i kid you not he asked me to marry him i kid you not he asked me to marry him and i thought he was joking mm. because i was like you know how <laughs> we had known each other for a little over a month mara you know you you still do a little bit of research nga motho na mina mini and na eno bo amba na ne ba khori mbopo athi ko to to tamba nga inwe ndi ani funa and then ko to da o re re rebuild rote and so i thought okay fine maybe he's just saying he's excited you know new love <laughs> then the next morning he said mbopo ni ko to zombra zwa dri I said yes. He said I asked you to marry me. Do you remember what you said? I said yes. I said yes. And he said were you serious? Ndare, yes I was. And then the rest is history. <sighs> the past couple of days have been the hardest days of my life. And there is so much going on emotionally physically mentally i don't know if i'm coming if i'm going what the future holds what to expect you know even this recording i wasn't sure if i wanted to do it but the question i always ask myself is what would katu want me to do and my husband trained me to be a strong woman he would have wanted me to say something over and above that i'm a mother we have a beautiful 21 month old daughter that he loved with all of his heart 
And someday she will ask me questions and I will have to answer them. And so I'm doing this for her as well. <sighs> Katu and I lived a fulfilling life. Our home was full of joy and happiness. Katu gave me a fairy tale. You know, I hear people complain and say this and this and that. Katu did everything extraordinary. Everything he did was big and larger than life. And today I ask myself if it's because God knew that he the time we would spend together would be limited. He was very considerate, very loving, very attentive to the smallest of details. I don't know how we ended up together, but the truth is it was a mistake. Everything that happened was a mistake, according to me. But when I look back at it, I realize that it was God. Everything with us happened so quickly from how we met, when he proposed, when we got married, our child, everything happened so quickly. But Katu's love for me showed me that God loves me over and over and over again. God loves me. And he brought Katu into my life to remind me that he loved me. I do not know how I am going to get through this. But I know God loves me. And he will make a way. I am grateful for the years that I got to spend with him. And I take comfort in knowing that he died a happy man. We were happy. I was happy. He was happy. And I'm thankful that in everything that he did in his life, he involved me. He made me feel special. He made me feel wanted. He made me feel like I was enough. I don't know about me. 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 Thank you for everything. Thank you for giving me the most amazing yes. Thank you for dedicating your life to me and our daughter. Thank you for loving me so boldly and loudly. Thank you for prioritizing us. Thank you for putting us first. Thank you. Dianifuna. Thank you for the beautiful memories we made. Thank you for every no I said. Thank you for forcing things, for making sure that I did things that I thought we had time to do. Thank you. Marandu kutuba ndarivu wa ure, unabatuba njiku chiro ni hashu. Menebatu baba wane. I know I'm not going to work this journey. I know. Everything happened so suddenly. And my life changed just like that. It is well. The hardest thing I have to do is to release him. Tuani, 
We have an angel now. 